In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the issue price of a bond when the bond pays interest on a quarterly basis. So the issue price is just going to be the present value of the lump sum that the investor in the bond would receive when the bond matures, right? So that face value amount, the present value of that, plus the present value of the interest payments that are made uh, along the way. So I've got the formulas here. Here's the formula for the present value of the lump sum, and here's the present value for the interest payments. But I want to show you how to apply them because it's a little tricky when we talk about doing it on a quarterly basis instead of an annual basis. So let's say that we have a company called Babu's Chocolate Factory that issues $100,000 of five-year bonds, and those bonds have a stated interest rate of 7%. However, the bonds are going to pay interest on a quarterly basis. So we need, we need to adjust this interest rate. It's not just going to be $7,000 a year in interest. It's going to be $7,000 divided by 4 because it's 4 payments. Okay, So that's going to be $1,750. That's going to be our quarterly interest payment that Babu's Chocolate Factory has to make. So that's the quarterly interest payment. Now, it, we can look at the market rate of interest. The market rate of interest for similar bonds is 9%. So we'll say, well, we've got to divide that by 4, too, because we're thinking about uh, 4 uh, divided by 4. So let's see here, 0 0.0225, just 2.25%. Okay, so 2.25%. Now, I want to show you, so here's our formula for the present value of the lump sum. So that 100000 and again, whoever buys this bond from Babu's, this is saying that they're going to receive $100,000 five years from now. And if we think about this on a quarterly basis, we'd say that that's 20 periods. That's 20 periods from now. That N, remember that N? That N is the number of periods, not the number of years. So there's four quarters in a year. So if it's five years, five times four is going to be 20. So we've got 20 for our N. And again, we take the market rate of interest and divide it by 4. Okay, so that's 2.25% or 0 0.0225. So we've got this here is the present value of that face value, the 100000 that the investor is going to receive in five years. And then over here, we have the present value of the interest payments. And again, every quarter, there's a payment of $1,750. And again, when we're using our formula here for the present value of that cash flow stream, we use the market rate of interest divided by 4. Okay, so that's why I have the 0.0225. Okay, so if, you, if we take, now that we have those two, so we get this here, the present value of the face value, and then this, the present value of the interest payments, if we add those together, if you were to calculate this all out, it would give you $92,018. $92,018. So this amount is the issue price of the bond. And what that means is that the investor who buys this bond from Babu's Chocolate Factory, they would pay $92,018. And again, that amount, this is discounted, right? Because they're getting the right to receive $100,000 five years from now. So it seems counterintuitive. But they're, get, they're, they're only willing to pay $92,018 instead of paying the whole $100,000 because Babu's interest, he pays interest at a lower amount than what the market rate of interest is. And so the bond is issued at a discount. At a discount. So this $92,018, it's not just some kind of like theoretical concept about the bond. This is actually the cash paid by the investor in order to get this bond.